Hey, I'm Pocket Charles, and today we're going to explore Payne's Prairie to see all the wildlife with my friend who's just moved to Gainesville, and with any luck, find alligators, which I'm really excited about. Can you tell? You can tell. I can understand it being sort of overwhelming and frightening, and also like being afraid that these things are going to kill you, <laughs> but I also... I really kind of can't imagine living somewhere without this much light. That was one of the main things I was looking forward to before I moved, actually, because where I lived in San Francisco was um, it was a really, really busy area. It was in the Mission District, um, and mm -hmm. it was on a street where that people usually went to to use the bathroom after they were drunk. In the <laughs> Oh god. So it literally smelled like piss all the time. And there were pigeons everywhere, which I love pigeons, but I wanted a little bit more diversity. When I first went up north, I was like, what do you mean moss? This is what moss is. <laughs> <laughs> the Spanish moss stuff. My dad told me when he first moved down here, he felt like he'd moved into like, uh, I don't know, some southern novel. Look, it's a wild truck. <laughs> Hacienda de la Chua, right here, there were Spanish adventurers, pillaging pirates, and bloody rebellion. This would be a cool place to take your parents after graduation. Instead of taking pictures with the really shitty statues on UF campus, I'm judgy. Horse poop on the path. There could be alligators on the path. Oh. Like, they really are roaming free. Oh. <laughs> Fair warning. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Good to know. <laughs> I thought about that a little bit earlier when I was suggesting this. I was like, ah, but do I really want to put myself in that position? You do, I though. Yes, I do. Five-year-old Charles has, like, stepped over an alligator tail, and I'm still here. <laughs> you just really need to not feed them. Because then they get really friendly and associate people with food, mm -hmm. and stop being afraid of you, and they should definitely stay afraid of you. It's an alligator. The American alligator, Alligator Mississippiensis, the males grow to 11 to 15 feet, or 3.4 to 4.6 meters, and the females to 3 meters. Separated from that gator by this much. But sit still, its head looks just like one of the other ones. You can definitely see how their camouflage helps them sneak up on things and eat them. That is an alligator head, oh my god. Okay, pick it out from, the, from this whole array. It's fun watching water bugs because they're like spiders with the wrong number of eggs, of, of legs, <laughs> and they're like sort of just ice skating on the surface of the water. No, I just always imagine that like the water bugs have some weird interesting music they're listening to and they're all dancing to it and they're like <laughs> congregating around like woo woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like too quiet for us to hear but they can, they have like yeah. A little boombox somewhere. I mean, we can hear the bass. That's the crickets. <laughs> the... Oh, wow. It's just that, that perfect time of day with all the gray blue clouds and the water hanging in the air, and it's finally cooled down. And there in the distance is a porta potty. the things that's usually listed in my okay cupid profile is like the six things I couldn't do without is sky. <laughs> it's a good one. 
I really hate making that list. <laughs> anyway, you were going to say. Oh, I was going to say. Or would that mean you were surrounded by sky? Or what do you qualify as the sky just being an well, That's true, because it wouldn't... Because most of what we see as sky is, like, the light reflecting off the atmosphere. I would totally still travel through outer space. Mm -hmm. And I think I would just consider everything sky. I think... Oh, we just got a bird peeing on camera! <laughs> So unconcerned with our existence. It's creepy. Oh, okay. You are unhappy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Moments like this, I remember birds are related to dinosaurs. So I think what I appreciate about sky, and I mean among it is the light and the, the static electricity is making your hair float gloriously. I can't even like finish a thought. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> But that sense of vastness and freedom and like simultaneously we're so small in comparison to the size of the universe and yet we're so big in comparison to most of the life forms on Earth. This my hair is floating. Well, you have a couple strands doing <laughs> Dedicated to Harold Nugent. Mm. The importance of alligators. I like that. Because we do need to remember that carnivores are also important to conservation efforts. If it's too hot, all eggs hatch as males. What? 86 Fahrenheit and below all eggs hatch as females. And the intermediate, I guess it's up to chance. That is why you don't find them like in the springs and stuff like that. Like it's too cold for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep children close to adults. At uh -huh. all times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hunt at night. Need water. Aren't lazy. They are basking. Oh my god, that's what I'm gonna say all the time. <laughs> I'm not lazy, I'm basking. That's like the best part of Plains Prairie. You're like, I am walking into a nest of predators. Find out later what kind of snake this is and how close we currently are to death. He seems pretty chill. Yeah. Funny. That was super dangerous wildlife. It, no, no. Have Have you seen Monty Python? It could have ripped us to shreds if it wanted to. We almost died at the hands of a ferocious brown bunny with giant molten black eyes. <laughs> it would have been a way to go. Molten. I want to live in here. Look, it's like a little grotto. And then there's these flowers that might be passion flowers at the entrance. I don't want to disturb them, but otherwise I would make the world's most epic flower crown out of them, and it would be beautiful. Let's make sure that I'm not wading into any snakes. Oh, look. Now I can't see the alligator. So, these are the consequences for leaving the path. I stepped in an <laughs> ant pile. These are fire ants. They're swarming my foot. Okay. Most of them haven't managed to find a way in and bite me yet. That's amazing. There's like five alligators. Ooh. We made it. This is the holy grail. I can film them. <laughs> Look. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator, four alligator, five, all at six, maybe seven. Wow. I keep missing the jumping fish. They're not lazy, they're slowly sneaking on, on their prey. It's only like maybe half or a third of the alligator's body that we're seeing above the water.
The alligator is posing for us. Check it out. 